Howdy folks, and it's Beano Black, and basically what we're looking at right now is DA14, and I've been telling you for a long time about this is like going to be the closest thing that's going to come around. Uh, even your great-grandkids, if you have kids, and if you're lucky enough that they have great-grandkids, if they just think generations-wise, uh, that the idea that they won't even have a close object as close as DA14, your great-grandkids great grandkids possibly or grandkids now because there's going to be stuff in 26 and stuff like that and they have you have nothing to worry about because we don't even really probably have anything to worry about da14 okay unless we have some kind of a comet that just all of a sudden if you've seen recently we've had a lot of comets that just all of a sudden get discovered okay right now we got 2012 da14 that is basically going to go underneath earth and as you see here that is our orbit around the sun the sun is right here and then you see that if we intersect down here and we'll have that close and I basically had 16,874 miles was as close as it could have been before Then JPL messed around with their data and basically we, could, we have to trust them they should be able to put uh, a missile on a Nats ass on Mars so basically now it's up to 20,000 something 20,100 20, something or something like that I had it in one of my last couple of videos now the most intriguing thing today is what, we, what I found on the 30th of footage from Sechi B, and I apologize a little bit for the Twitter here, but the, basically, the, you know, the, you, you've seen what happened on the screen. Now, we have Jupiter over here. Uh, as you see, I've got my pixel rate very high, and then the idea that we're at such a big contrast of looking at this shot to see the orbits and everything like that. So the only thing out the back door, this is how everything sits today, currently. Uh, we come down here, I'll go left, and actually what I should do is probably pop down a little bit in size because now I'll do that real faster. We'll go down to like 100, boom. It's not like we're looking at something from Sechi. We are gonna be doing that in a minute. Now, uh, as you see, I've got myself locked in. What I did for size-wise was get up and see J Jupiter where it's sitting at. Now this is everything that's pretty much on the plate and everything is at a different height and so forth and as we can, we can end up going like this and get how, much, how high or low something is. Okay, Jupiter's always high, Pluto's high, to a flatbed of looking at what we have for planetoid objects and stuff like that. And as you see, it kicked it around too, where we got uh, DA14 in that position now, but you can see where Jupiter's at. Okay, so when we got B looking at, and basically Earth's in front, so B is always to the left, and what you would see above, we might have a good shot of possibly Jupiter yesterday and I'll go and show you that because what we're going to do is an energy distance for DA14 and everything like that. Uh, here we are, our freshest thing that I've got from the first on Earth. Now the number one thing is we're making the video showing you what I could show you of Jupiter, what I believe to be Jupiter in a shot and also what we see from Earth popping around here. Okay. Now Positioning wise, we're going to go back to the 30th, I think, is what the shot I'm going to want to check it out. Now, the most important thing is this is running here. Watch how the Earth's magnetical uh, coronal is popping from uh, bipolar from, because we know that the Sun is bipolar and the Earth is bipolar because of our magnetical, okay, on the South Pole and on the North Pole. Okay, now you see the CME action we're getting from above and also what we're getting from below. So we're getting some interesting insight to how our magnetics work. And if you watch here, you would almost believe from a far distance that Earth is dropping and rising. Okay, So we're getting a very good look of our rifling as we do rotate to the east towards the sun and that's how we got the sunlight the light curvature but at the same time as we rotate we are also rifling like a bullet on our drag our magnetical drag that we get drug behind the sun okay now i'm going to take you to the 30th and we're going to be able to see and if you watch here as you watch the clock we're high and then we end up low so in the later of UTC time, 24 hour clock, we end up getting a lot more magnetical pull from the South Pole. Now if you want the mag magnetosphere too, I, uh, maybe I'll have time to show that. But yesterday it was showing very red, which is higher action, and it was blue on the South Pole. And I think I was looking at that at about the, the later hours. 
So the idea that uh, we were getting the friction through the North Pole in the later hours of UTC, or actually the early hours of UTC, because basically the later uh, PM hours, like I was looking at it at probably maybe 9 o'clock at night in the evening and stuff like that. This is Central Standard Time down here, and there's your date and time. So now what we're going to do is I'll pop over to look on the 30th and I'll see what we can pretty much get a good shot of. Uh, and that's the sun. Anybody new viewers, it's the sun over here to the left. That's Earth over here on our magnetic line here. And uh, I'll get over and show you what we can see from B on the 30th. Now as I go to this footage, basically Earth's right there with DA14 and Jupiter's over here. So B is over here, okay? Because Earth is directly and it's a Y. So basically B is something like up this way some way like a Y, okay, because Earth is here, so B is up this way or some way, and A, H is up at a Y, like it this way, out this direction somewhere, okay, so basically you're going to be able to see, and we're going to give you a nice shot of Jupiter, it looks like, because check this out, now we get some great action, and actually I've got the 30th here, and you're going to see what we've got to the right is what's great, is the idea that as we are at B here, none of this stuff to the right should be anything of Jupiter and so forth. So basically we still have some planetoid objects because they are large and they have huge CME reactive flare because CME is a coronal mass ejection off the sun over here to the left but their atmosphere as you see Earth doing it also the high to the low and we'll go down and see the clock and there's your bet BH1 and there's your clock as we go through the hours and as you see, we're getting basically some flare action from. And remember, Mercury is too damn small to be putting this here off there, okay? The size of this stuff. So let me blow up real fast. And I believe I'm going to have to go to, it must be like the 29th that I see, figured what I caught was Jupiter. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch Jupiter basically above here, okay? Because basically that's where it should be if you're looking at JPL. Because once again, I can pop over to JBL over here, our map, and Jupiter's up here. So basically, Earth's right here in front of the sun. Ace is up this way somewhere in a Y, and also B is up here. So B is shooting back across. So I think I'll be on the third, on the 29th, I'll be able to get the footage of catching what I catch above the sun. And then I might be. I don't think I've got pretty much. I'm sure I got it from Ace from B. I mean, so and we are on B here. So I'm going to go see what we got on the next date. And as you can see here, we have some great action. So I'll pump it up to 400 because we have, and then basically we have to go back to the fact of going back to the JPL here for a second and looking that the idea that looking from, this is B, remember we're at B. And then we're getting planetoid objects to do that kind of CME reaction. Okay, that are in our solar system, okay. And then we also get it one up there, and they're damn large. And so we look to our JPL here real fast. As we're looking back across, what the hell is coming from B? Because B's up here somewhere in a Y off the sun. A Y. You could even say that it's back this way farther and stuff like that. But it's not really because it's not showing this side of the sun. Okay, It's showing this side of the sun over here, and there's... Earth and DA14. That is Earth right there, okay? Earth is there with DA14, okay? It's that close. I showed you on the zoom in earlier, okay? So when it's shooting across from whatever Y action that it's got, because it's like a Y, even if it's this far over, it's only shooting this side of the sun and getting Earth here on that shot. So with Jupiter pretty much going to be where I'm figuring the idea I'm going to catch it above the sun, what the hell is these huge planets that's in our solar system that's over here doing this and the, also this up here because no matter what B is only shooting from even if it's just a little bit above this it's only shooting this side of the Sun in getting Earth okay because I'm gonna show you where we're gonna catch Jupiter and the other one in another shot but it's gonna be above the Sun so check this out and let me pop this down real fast so that you know what we're looking at and then we're going to go over and I'm going to pull up the 29th. And I'm pretty sure that the 29th is the one where I catch it above Jupiter up here, getting a shot above. Okay, hang on. And actually, I figured it out. So here's the shot from the 29th. Okay. And then you're going to see our two huge planets that are here, which 
can't be, absolutely, as we'll see this in this footage here, it can't be any of our known planets. And we actually have another one right there. So we actually, and we have a bunch of planets. Because so no matter what, we've got three magnetical planets here. And you're going to get the, the, their plasma, their atmosphere doing what it's doing, okay? And as you see those, shit, we got four going away, possible planets, but three for damn sure. Okay, so let me get to the 31st. It's going to show you Jupiter above, and I'm probably going to, because I know, I know a big scatter, so I know I'm getting, and it's not my computer. So basically, I'm going to pop over to the 31st, because I screwed up, And but this is good that you're seeing. This is the footage from the 29th, 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 okay? So now I'm going to give you Jupiter above, because neither of those two big planets there are Jupiter. Okay, and they're too far away from B to be close and be Mercury or anything like that, Mercury or Venus or anything like that. Okay, it's a bunch of BS. It can't be, and absolutely can't be because and let me give you the date. And no matter what, it can't be because of the angles. Okay, all this stuff is coming from B, which is at somewhat shooting from this side of the sun and across. So this stuff is huge, and over here, and I'm going to show you where Jupiter's at. Hang on. I hope I don't have to edit here real fast. Pop in, and we'll get. The 31st, and we'll come down here, and we should have what I was seeing yesterday. We get a big CME up here at the top, and we should end up seeing Jupiter up over here. Okay, and we're shooting from B. Okay, now we got a comet that's going and hits more than likely goes around the sun too that we that ends up being very large right here you can't miss it right there and then i'll try to zoom there it goes by my cursor it's over here by my cursor going up towards the sun so we'll see we'll blow up on this real fast and i might have to put jupiter and find what i seen for footage the other day that i didn't get recorded and see what actual date it is because i end up and there's your we have a huge comet going up past the the, the sun and it's like I've been showing in my videos for a long time. It just basically, it's this is all actual factual from uh, out in space from Sechi and Soho. It's data. And there you go. This huge comet right there comes up and goes more than likely around the sun or ends up hitting the sun. And as you see that, you can't miss it. And then you can see that pretty good there. You'll just have to go back and play that there as it's playing that fast. And then we'll pop down. And what I'm going to end up showing you, I'll just point to where I can end up finding, and you can end up looking at set to yourself, and you'll end up seeing more than likely what we have for Jupiter. It wasn't marked, and it was something within the last week. And I might have screwed up on my footage. I'm going to keep going until we and it ended up getting a Jupiter-sized object that's up here, which it ends up showing us. And no matter what, since we have three objects over here and we're shooting from... B and like I, I don't even have to go to JPL because I went there enough to show you the angles and there you can see that comet going up and as you can see they were getting a pretty good look at it trying to find it over in this area when it, it originally in there it goes zooming up by the sun so uh, even if no matter what one of these ends up being Jupiter and I'm wrong which you know I'm human I could be wrong but more than likely I found Jupiter over here and no matter what we've got three magneticals here and from the other footage that I backed up on too so I'm going to go to the 27th so just remember when you're looking at JPL and so forth, and I'll take you to and give you another map too, besides, you know, trusting NASA. And as you, and I'll pop back into the footage that I end up getting Jupiter up high, because as you go to JPL, you can see that there's where Jupiter's supposed to be at. Now remember, no matter what, B is giving you this shot, and I've said it a very repetitive about three or four times, that it's shooting this side of the sun, okay? It's not giving you Venus, Mercury, and Mars and stuff over here. It's giving you Earth, which is right here, straight in front of the sun. And you can even go to beacon map. Matter of fact, I'll probably show the beacon map. But the most important thing is you're looking here. This is a blow-up. The sun's in the well, which is basically here. Okay, this is a blow-up. All this Earth is very light right now, all by itself over here with Jupiter. Okay, i.e. this map here will show you that Jupiter is the only thing that's pretty much going to be on a shot of an angle and I ended up one day, and I'll end up showing it in another video because I don't have time for it now. 
and I'm not finding it right away. I had it yesterday and I could have swore it was the 29th or the 30th or the 31st or the 1st and I'm not. So here's Bradfield, Ison should be awesome. 